The James Webb Space Telescope is a multinational project run by NASA in conjunction with the Canadian Space Agency and the European Space Agency. Since its launch, it has set a groundbreaking record as the best space scientific observatory in the world. In addition to looking beyond our solar system to distant planets orbiting other stars, Webb delves into the enigmatic architecture and origins of the cosmos and our role within it. With this new technology on the horizon, Neptune is a prime candidate for future telescope-based research. One of the most recent pictures from NASA's James Webb Telescope shows Neptune and its rings more clearly than they have been seen in decades. Some of these rings haven't been seen since 1989, and others have never been seen. Through these images, NASA reveals Neptune is not what we are being told. Stay tuned to find out some of the most shocking mysteries of this ice planet. Neptune is the only planet that is invisible to the naked eye, so it eluded ancient astronomers until Leveria and Johann Gall discovered it in 1846. Neptune's discovery resulted from scientists' study of information about Uranus's orbit. Astronomers detected differences between Uranus's observed and anticipated positions. The perturbed orbit of Uranus led astronomer Urban Leveria to conclude that another undiscovered planet must be responsible. He predicted its location, and astronomer Johann Gall found it one degree away, making Neptune the first planet to be discovered using mathematical calculations and predictions. Until Pluto's discovery in 1930, Neptune was considered the most distant planet. With the discovery of Pluto, Neptune was believed to be the second most distant planet. In 2006, when Pluto's eccentric orbit was recognized and its classification was downgraded from planet to dwarf planet, Neptune reclaimed its position as the most distant planet in the solar system. Neptune is the fourth giant planet in our solar system, with a radius of 15,387 miles or 24,764 kilometers, almost four times Earth's, and a diameter of 49,244 kilometers or 30,598 miles. Neptune and Uranus are called ice giants since they are smaller than Jupiter and Saturn and have different chemical makeup. Neptune is composed of layers of helium, 29%, hydrogen, 80%, and methane traces. It contains a core about 1.5 times the size of Earth and twice the pressure, comprising approximately 45% of the planet's mass, but no surface. Due to its remoteness, it has the most prolonged orbital period, completing a round around the Sun in about 165 years. Yet, one sidereal revolution, or day on Neptune, takes 16.11 hours to complete. Its orbit is 1.77 degrees more inclined than that of the Earth. Neptune is the smallest ice giant, but it has the highest density of all the gas giants. It has an average temperature of minus 214 degrees Celsius and minus 353 degrees Fahrenheit. Still, Uranus remains the coldest planet in the solar system and the coldest ice giant. The internal chemical composition of this planet qualifies it as an ice giant. Neptune is substantially richer in elements heavier than hydrogen and helium and the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. Little concentrations of gaseous methane enable Neptune to look characteristically blue in Hubble Space Telescope photos at visible wavelengths, which are easily observable. Due to its bluish ocean color, Neptune was named after the Roman god of the sea. Its satellites were also given the names of water gods. Neptune does not seem blue to Webb because its near-infrared camera, NIR Cam, only sees objects between 0.6 and 5 microns in the near-infrared spectrum. The planet is relatively black at these near-infrared wavelengths due to the substantial absorption of red and infrared light by methane gas, except for areas with high-altitude clouds. These brilliant streaks and patches of methane ice clouds are noticeable because they reflect sunlight before it is absorbed by methane gas. Throughout the years, images from other observatories, including the W.M. Keck Observatory and the Hubble Space Telescope, have captured these fast-changing cloud structures. When Voyager 2 saw the planet in 1989, the Great Dark Spot and other areas were there. It was a storm about the size of Earth moving through the atmosphere of Neptune. When Hubble was launched, scientists hoped to determine whether or not these patches were permanent, like Jupiter's Great Red Spot, but the storms had disappeared. Further observations led to the discovery of more storms, each appearing and disappearing. The more dynamic weather on Neptune may be partially attributable to the planet's greater core temperature than Uranus. It is inhospitable to life as we know it because it lacks a solid surface and instead has fluids in motion. Triton, Neptune's moon, looks more likely to support life. 
Webb's images show the planet's brilliant rings and fainter dust bands. The dust bands are seen as fuzzy particles between the brighter, ice-dominated rings. It has been three decades since we last observed these thin, dusty rings, says Heidi Hamill, an interdisciplinary scientist at Webb, and this is the first time we've seen them in the infrared. Ring systems are a characteristic shared by the gas giants, which Neptune also has. Due to its low density and dark reddish tint, it is highly ethereal. Neptune has five ring systems named after those who contributed to the planet's discovery and study. The innermost ring is the Gal Ring, which has a width of 2,000 kilometers or 1,242 miles and is quite faint. The second dazzling ring is called Le Verrier, just 113 kilometers or 70.2 miles wide. The third is the Lassell Ring, a thin ring which spans 4,000 kilometers or 2,485 miles. On this ring's edge lies the Arago Ring, which is somewhat brighter and less than 100 kilometers, 62 miles broad. The Adams Ring is the outermost and last known ring. It has a width of around 35 kilometers or 21.7 miles, yet it is one of the brightest rings. It has a unique characteristic. It is gently sloped and has colorful arcs. A more discreet visual indicator of the worldwide atmospheric circulation that fuels Neptune's winds and storms might be a narrow line of light ringing the planet's equator. In the equator, the atmosphere lowers and heats, making it light at infrared wavelengths more than the nearby colder gases. Neptune's northern pole is barely out of sight for astronomers due to its 164-year orbit. Still, the web photos suggest an unusual brightness there. Webb's image clearly shows a previously known vortex around the Southern Pole, but this is the first time Webb has demonstrated a continuous ring of high-latitude clouds encircling it. Seven of Neptune's 14 known moons are also visible, and the image's most prominent feature is Neptune's massive moon, Triton. This moon is coated with nitrogen ice, which reflects almost 70% of the sunlight that strikes it. Unlike all of Neptune's other moons, Triton circles Neptune in a backward, or retrograde orbit. Some scientists believe Triton came from the outer solar system before being caught by Neptune's gravity. Triton reflects around 70% of the sunlight it receives thanks to a frozen coating of condensed nitrogen. Since methane absorbs at these near-infrared wavelengths, it outshines Neptune significantly. Triton's peculiar retrograde orbit around Neptune has led scientists to hypothesize that this moon was once a Kuiper Belt object that was gravitationally grabbed by Neptune. The magnetic field of Neptune is 47 degrees off from its rotational axis. It is hypothesized that this is due to the magnetic field not being formed in the core, but instead by an electrically conducting liquid mantle, or that the cloak deflects the magnetic field from the core, giving it a particular offset concerning the axis of rotation. No planet in the solar system has a magnetic field that is precisely aligned. Even the magnetic north of Earth is distinct from the North Pole, yet only Uranus and Neptune have a magnetosphere that is inclined. Auroras occur on Neptune, although they are relatively weak because particles are not as heavily charged by the Sun. Because of the orientation of the planet's magnetosphere, they are mostly Type B auroras, or SAR arcs. SAR arcs are not located at the planet's poles, but around its mid-latitudes. Webb's infrared image also reveals a small bright zone surrounding the equator. This is most likely caused by a worldwide atmospheric circulation pattern in which warmer gas travels toward Neptune's mid-latitudes. According to scientists, this circulation drives the planet's winds and storms. These images of Neptune reveal that even though the JWST was designed to observe incredibly distant cosmic objects peering back in time to the cosmos, as it was billions of years ago, it is nonetheless yielding significant and groundbreaking data from inside the solar system. According to experts, Webb will be used for more Triton research in the following year. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.